This is the sandbox site that we're work working with and uh, the other day, actually I think previous today, I um, got an email from uh, from a guy asking about how to, on your user page or somewhere, get a list of all the um, group content for groups where you are a member. Because here, I am a member of two groups. Uh, and I would then like to have a list of all the content in both of these groups. This is not really possible to do right now, uh, as far as I know. Uh, and I'm going to show you a bit why it's not possible and how you could approach solving this and also show you some alternative uh, ways of um, doing this, uh, some kind of workarounds. Uh, before doing that, I want to remove this field though. Here's a, a group field. The, uh, this user account is, is a group in itself, which is not really a good thing if you want to uh, uh, display the stuff, well, uh, demonstrate the stuff I'm going to demonstrate here. So I'm going to go into configuration, organic groups, organic group field settings, and on the user, I'm going to delete this field here. I could probably do this from the field settings page for user accounts as well, but I'm not doing that right now. All right, like that. If I reload, this is no longer a group, but I am a member of two different groups. Now, the normal approach for doing this would be to go into views. And we have a view that we've been working with for a few screencasts now. It's called uh, uh, OG test. And we have here a contextual filter filtering on the uh, uh, groups that content belongs to. If we edit that, we can go down here into the more settings and we can allow uh, multiple values, meaning that we can send in multiple numbers uh, and have, have the view list content from multiple groups, which is kind of useful. So here, if I add a 3, I think, I get all the content from some kind of group. If I type 3 plus 1, I get content from some kind of group that's still mentioned here. Uh, and from the first group, my special group, I think it's called. You can see here, my special group, if you look down here, my special group, well, it has node ID 1, some kind of group has node ID 4, but actually group ID 3. And we get these here. As you can see, we get duplicates here as well. If you want to uh, get rid of those, you could use the query settings here in views and turn on distinct, which is a can be a pretty heavy thing to do. So here we get rid of the duplicates. This only works for the base object of the base table in the view, uh, if you know what that means. Uh, so right now we have basically not changed uh, the view as it works in, in standard, but we have allowed um, to use multiple group IDs as arguments. Let's save that for now. Now the tricky thing here is to actually get the group uh, IDs uh, separated by plus signs into the view. And it turns out you cannot really do that as it is right now. Um, you could try to do that in two different ways, I guess. One of the ways, let's actually have a look at this issue over here. This is issue 115, 16, 48. Um, that uh, is about just this thing, uh, listing all the content for all the groups a member belongs to. Uh, and I have three different approaches to this. One of them is to, to have a default value for a contextual filter, meaning that Let's go in here again. If we don't have any value, uh, then we can provide a default value. And here you could have uh, a views plugin saying fetch all the group IDs for the uh, acting user, which is kind of a hack and not really a good solution. It, it works for a special case only. Uh, you could do that for the acting user, but not for any other user and things like that. It's just a mess. Um, other approach here is to uh, make a C tools relationship that brings you all the group ideas from uh, from a desired uh, from a user, all, all the groups that a user belongs to. 
which kind of could work. And I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. I'm going to create a custom page. Uh, my group river of news. Uh, user slash percent count slash LG. I'm going to set up this custom page on a, a path that is this. It will be displayed as a tab on the user account page and then slash LG. Uh, I'm going to give this a visible menu item which will be a tab. I will give it contexts and that will be enough. Continue. This percent account will be interpreted as a user ID, which means that uh, uh, CTOs will load the full user account. That's useful. Account. If you find this confusing, have a look at the Learn Page Manager screencast series. Continue. The menu tab here, let's call it OG. Give it a weight of 3. Continue. Contexts. Now here's the interesting thing. Um, there is, uh, when you have a node object, you can load the terms, all the tags on, on a um, on a node separated by plus or comma, which is very useful, and that is what we would like to do with the organic groups things here for a user, but we cannot. We can load the. Uh, OG group from the user here, uh, but then we'll have to uh, select which of the groups, if we have multiple ones, uh, we select which one we would like to load, which is kind of not useful. Because um, we want all of them and we want only the group IDs. Uh, not really sure what this one does. Get the OG membership context from an OG group and user. Um, uh, I think it's the membership thing that the membership uh, entity that we're loading here, and I'm not gonna go into that because we're not interested in the membership type here, only the actual groups. But I am gonna load this OG group um, from the user account anyway, and I'm gonna load the first one starting with delta zero. First group, group one finish, continue, and then I'm making a standard panel here. Great. So now I can on my left side here uh, from my group panes insert the uh, content pane that we have set up uh, earlier first group uh, not excluding any node ID right now news from my first group from your first group is probably better finish finish update and save now I should have this tab on my page reloading OG Here, and I have news from my first group. And I could do this as well on my, uh, with my second group. Uh, going back into contexts here, I can add a new relationship, and I have here a whole lot of them to choose now. Um, because the, this new uh, object available here, the, the group has in itself a number of relationships that uh, is available. Uh, but I'm um, going to use this one. I think this is the right one. Huh. It's also complex. Uh, second group, group two. And I'm going to use delta one here. So I collect from uh, the group number two I'm a member of. Finish, update and save. And I can now go back into content, add another content pane using the same 
uh, view content pane that we have been using before. But now I will select another group, my second group, to send it to views uh, and get data back. Uh, news from your second group. Finish, update and save. Uh, reload here. And we have here uh, news from, well, my second group, obviously. And here's from my first group. Now, this is not really good, um, but it's a way that you can kind of make it work. I'm going to show you one more thing here. Um, here's my view. Here's my content pane display, the one that we're embedding. Now I'm about to destroy this one, which might be a bad idea. I'm cloning it instead. I'm cloning this content pane. And I'm going to call it something else just to make it uh, easier to know which one it is. Content pane uh, manual input. Apply. That's a really long name, but that'll do. Now, in the argument input here, instead of fetching group ID from context, I'm going to select that you can input on pane config. Uh, group IDs separated by plus or comma apply and save I might add here in, in panels or page manager that you could set as a vis visibility uh, rules here or, or even access rules or selection rules so you can check if the user only has one group then we load a full width uh, panel variant instead, uh, displaying only one group content. If you're a member of two groups, you can divide it up like this. On the other hand, but y you cannot really do that for ten, up to 10 different groups or 20 different groups. It would just be crazy. So you can do that for, say, one, two, three, but then it uh, goes out of hand. Uh, okay, so this view is saved. I can now embed this view. Uh, going to group panes and now they are of, of course have the same name because I cloned them so let's change that uh, admin title and group with manually uh, selected uh, gives just so I can separate the two in the, in the uh, uh, configuration here let's actually move this one over here so we can see this one clearly. Okay, adding here group panes. Here it is. Okay, so now I can here use group one git plus group two git finish. And now this should work. I'm not sure th this um, replacement things here might work a bit bad. Uh, I'm not sure that they work 100%, but we'll see. No, okay, so it doesn't work. Uh, this could be a workaround. It'll take a bit more before um, it, it works, obviously. But that's one of the approaches that you could have doing this. It has the same kind of limitations as you have in the solution I just uh, showed you because you have to m manually add all of these contexts uh, so you have the groups here group uh, group 2 GID for example uh, and group 3 GID group, group 4 GID and so on which is kind of silly and what you would really like to have is one of these uh, um, uh, tokens here so you can fetch all the the gids uh, in one string and that is actually the third suggestion I have, have here uh, to provide a new token that allows you to to get all of these uh, all the group IDs in in one string and that would make it easier to, to use this in say rules as well and, and other modules because tokens are used 
Token replacement pipelines are used basically everywhere in Drupal. Yeah. All right. Before quitting, I'm just going to uh, see if these replacement patterns really are broken or if it's just this plus sign and formatting here that makes it so. So I'm uh, changing this to percent two, uh, percent group two colon gid. And reload here. Yeah, and it's still broken. Okay, so the token replacement patterns are broken. I think there is an issue about that in C tools already, so we don't have to uh, work on that right now. Yeah, so this is kind of difficult uh, to achieve right now in um, in Page Manager and well in organic groups basically. Uh, it's kind of possible to work around using Page Manager, uh, but not in a, uh, in a really nice way. So head over to this issue and help out to to fix this if, if uh, you're interested in doing this in organic groups. And it might also be that I'm wrong that this is perfectly possible to do in organic groups. And if so, you will notice that on this uh, uh, issue as well. Well, see you in another screencast. Goodbye.